In this example, we're going to use jQuery to load in content from outside of our page without reloading the entire page. Now right now I have two links, both with IDs called nav1 and nav2 that are kind of simulating a navigation bar. And I have some text files called text1 and text2. Now we've already set up jQuery. We've already got our document.ready method. So what I want to do is create a selector and a click event handler for each of these navigation links. First, for nav1, what I want to do is I want to load in my text1 document. I'm going to be loading it into a div that I right now have called target. Now in this example, we're going to use the load method. We say load, and load has one required parameter and a couple of optionals. The required parameter is the URL, and it can be either a relative or absolute URL to the file that we need to load. We're going to do the same basic thing for nav2. First, we have our nav2 selector and our click event handler. And once again, since the contents can be loaded into the same div, the one with the ID of target, we're going to specify our selector, use the load method, and load text2.document. Save this, go to our web browser, reload, and if I click on link 1, you'll see here that I've loaded up my text file. One thing you may notice is that load has a similar effect as using HTML. The HTML method in jQuery, remember, will load in the content and display HTML tags as HTML. This is seen because I have an H1 tag here, and this is a paragraph tag. If I click on link 2, you'll notice that I have page 2. Once again, it's the H1 tag, and I have a paragraph tag. So it's taken all of our formatting, it's automatically placing it inside of our target div. And this, remember, could be any ID that you want to use. And it's going to render it as HTML. That way, we simplify the steps that we have to process. And load is probably the easiest method to load in external AJAX data if you have only one target that needs to go to.